you probably have no idea who they are, but to be honest, they're very, very important boys to me. Please welcome Kirk Johnson and Nick Rutherford. You probably know me. And yes, they skipped the gym to come here today. Please welcome Tyler Cohen and Blaine Gibson. I'm your host, John Rising. Welcome to the spot. So we have a chance. No? Go tonight? Not tonight. Welcome to On the Spot, Roosty's official game show. Um, I have some special guests here today. Thanks for having us back, John. It's really good to be here. Good, good, joke. Be good here. joke, guys. Ten points right off the bat. Wait, four. Wait, oh, we've already yeah, we started. We need that. This today's show is all about getting to the joke first, getting the jokes fast. Fast jokes get points, okay? Hey, what do you call a horse that walks into a, a dog park? Negative five points. Yes. Ah. Being too needy. <laughs> yes. I'm always too needy. Tyler, on this show. something in his mouth. I don't know what it is, and I'm worried. You want to know what it is? I, mm, do I? It's a cough drop, so I don't choke. You can have that one for free. Hey Extra five points. I'll give wow, you two the points. audience fucking hates you. I always get in trouble when I say that. That was fucking points. gold, audience. What That's you, comedy. What do you call a horse even... that goes into a dog? Yeah. You don't get to know because I'm not going to get any points on oh, it. Oh, you actually had a joke there. Uh, yeah, I was. If, okay, if it's a good answer, it's what a good was joke. Set up? I don't know. <laughs> a horse that goes into a dog park. Oh, uh. It's, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you have a joke in no Yes, answer? he did. Dude, can I just have a moment? Yeah, you're rushing him. <laughs> yeah, that's the great line of every improv actor. Can I have a moment? This isn't improv. This is a very classic joke. You call joke. it Ned. 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 The dog. <laughs> My the horse. Five more points. <laughs> I got less? <laughs> hey, yeah. I thought it was great. That was a great joke. Hey, I two lied. points for being a good Appreciate sport. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. the, those are the only points we're going to get. <laughs> yeah. Once we start playing, it's Hey, dark. real quick. This episode is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club and Mack Weldon. Thank you so much, my special sponsors. All right. So we have a few orders of business to get to before we can get to some fun games. Um, team names. We got to do team names. Yeah. You boys. We have a, t we have a name. And what does we, it even matter, though? Well, hey, are you be so are you being defeatist already? No. Um, our team name is, of course, Stinky, Stinky Boys. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> is that a Stussy? Yes, it is. How, can you do a Stussy on the keyboard? Yep. Uh, yes, they do. With Did the you do that in Photoshop? Or is that a keyboard? That's a oh, keyboard. Boy, okay, go over to you guys. What we're you got? we're really cool guys. This is just a bad we're start. like we're like someone call us like fat, like PH fat. And oh, we put, no, please don't. And be. we put all the, sh the, the haters to shame. So we're team fat shamers. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, there's one laugh in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably Blaine's mom. <laughs> I've been thinking, I've been sitting on this name for I months. I think it's a I'll funny say, name. The next time I come on the spot, fat shamers, but yeah. with a PH. The thing uh, is, you guys, are, you guys are so jacked and ripped that you probably do have like very intense body issues. Blaine has extreme body issues. You can make Blaine yeah. feel so bad about yeah. his body, body so easily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're both extremely insecure. That's why we're, you know, working in this. They used to this be. I'm insecure yes. too, but. Um, but, hello. but you love taking. But nobody that horse cares because of how you look. <laughs> nay. Mm -hmm. No, don't do that. Um, uh, nay, because the horse in the yeah. dog park. We have, another, we have another joke. thing we have to get That's to. We have awful. another thing we have to get to. Yeah. We have the diddle cards now. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So diddle cards. As you guys, if you guys watched the first two episodes of the season, we've introduced diddle cards. I can talk with spaces in between the words. Um, Who's Zuck? <laughs> Zuck. That's, that's who. Don't say what's on there. It's Zuck. I saw that one in there. That's probably Zach. It's uh, Zuck. It's Zuck. <laughs> probably a Zach. Learn to write your own fucking name, Zuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're already shaming. People. Yeah, it's just shaming yeah. everybody. Name shamers. You are um, such a hater. <laughs> uh, so the way this game goes, or the way the cards go, is that anytime during the show, the these guys have uh, right over the head. You didn't hear it. He said he, I'm such a, ha a hater. Uh, I didn't get it. You get it? Like I said. I get it. And since you thought I was so funny, another point for you. Hey, thanks. What? <laughs> is that a this is work. It's going to be back, John. Mostly inappropriate. Thanks for Mostly inappropriate? I don't know. So did you bring, like, a thesaurus or something? You working on your vocabulary there, Kirk? Hey, you're at a start over. <laughs> you're at a gallop. Let's bring it down to a trot. Yeah. Um, so the cards have attributes on them. That was a horse joke. Good horse joke. Thanks. Uh, that was a good horse joke. Thanks. That horse joke was cold, in my opinion. Ice cold. Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah! Hey, you know what? I'm Philly that. I hate this episode okay. so much. I'm not liking the games. it either. Oh. All right, so the cards, they have attributes. Anytime during the show, you boys can play a card, another team uh, member, to uh, flub them up for an entire game. Can I play it on you? 
no. Oh, oh that that's would be a fun. good question. Because I am God, and God says no. Um, so we're going to play some games, and the first game is Kind of Linguistics. Kind of Linguistics, one of our classic games. You guys are coming up with definitions for words we found in the dictionary, urbandictionary.com. And, uh, and each team is going to come up with two definitions. The other team will come up with a rebuttal definition. Good definitions or right definitions or funny ones get points. Other ones get punished. Punished? Mm. That's mm. new. You get punished. Like how? Yeah. And why did your voice change about that? when you said the word? I don't know. Find out. What I don't like it. <laughs> sexual undertones. Um, hey, stop horsing around. Oh! Five points. <laughs> a little on oh, the man. nose. Is that a horse one? Yeah, they, yeah, have, they, have, they have noses. <laughs> What's our first word for these stinky boys? What does it even matter? <laughs> Funts. This is from Irish Nord. Funts. What, pray tell, is a funce? Either of us? Or funcing, is funcing a verb? Or, uh, or, or is funcing, who's a funce? Oh, this <coughs> is unfair because I actually know the real definition. All right, oh, right. Of, cheat then. Yeah. Um, funce is, of course, when you, you're having, you, you had a great time, Okay. But, it on, but only one time. So you have one fun. You had fun once. I had funce. <laughs> Kirk's gonna save this. What you got, Kirk? <laughs> Well, no. no, it is that in some cultures, <laughs> uh -huh. but in other cultures, the origin is more, it's, uh, it's pronounced fiunce. Right. And uh -huh. what that is, is a funeral for a dunce. Um, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So like when a How dunce- How does this differ? That was, that was my like, what do you mean? What's that? Well, you're saying it's a funeral for a dunce, which means that a funeral for a dunce is different than a regular funeral. Yeah, this one differs because it's like, it's he was a bad boy before he died. So he was in the corner wearing a dunce's cap. Oh. So no one's really sad because he got what he deserved. So people spit on the body. <laughs> yeah, they, they spit on the body. They the casket over. Yeah, yeah. They don't put it in the ground. They launch it in a yeah, trebuchet. Yeah, they raise it up. Yeah. In a trebuchet. Yeah, they launch it into the cloud. Uh -huh. Feels like a bit of a production. Yeah, it is, but that's a funce for you. Yeah. That's a funce. Okay. If you've, ever been to, if you've ever been to one, even if you've only been to it one time, you probably had it funce. <laughs> and that, you know what, you know what, Nick? Is synergy. I'm gonna give you a point. <laughs> yes. Okay, give him a point. You can God, applaud I'm for Nick. Right? Okay? Oh. There you go. This is a rough crowd. I have to tell them to applaud. You were killing them in the rehearsal. It's fucking Zuck, dude. He's out there <laughs> shitting on our energy. I've always hated fucking Zuck. Um, all right, they. I don't think even got close. Do you guys have an idea for what a, a better definition is? Blaine has nothing. Tyler. I was gonna ask you to use it in a sentence so I well, can kind of figure out a little bit better. Um, I already did. But you, 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 I like your definition. That's what I would have gone. You're with. the only one. Yep. <laughs> I like it too. I feel like a funce is like like uh, the noise that like a, a pigeon makes when it hits a window. It's like funce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a little bit on the P. I like that. That's all I got. Thank you and good night. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's so much more. I don't know. There's so much more. Uh, what's a funce? You tell us. You're the judge. I'm going to. A certain type of flatulence that is particularly loud and sometimes so forceful that vibrations can be felt by others. Mm. Since Blaine went the, to a noise kind of subject matter, I'm going to give points to Blaine on this one. So oh, good. but I forgot to say my part. The dunce is in the dunce cap because he tooted during class. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good try. It's a good try, Kirk. Okay, and I think you're a negative point, so I'll give you a point. Just so nice, because it means nothing. Patrick, where am I at? Can we get a running tally? <laughs> no, don't get Just it. Just me a hand signal. We'll wait for the end of the game to find out where points are. You deserve that point. Let's good find job. out what the um, <laughs> the fat shamers what their word is. I keep hearing fat shamers. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> What's DTR? This is a nice little acronym. That's from Mundinger 1992. Uh, what? Is a DTR. So this is just kind of come up with what DTR stands for. Please go first. Oh, uh, yeah, I think a DTR is uh, it's it's a person you recognize them in a crowd and you're like, that's a DTR. They definitely take Ritalin, and they're just kind of like based on their behaviors and they're sporadic, kind of like zoning out, and they don't really connect with you on a social level. It's it's a DTR person. So it's like, hey, how was your interaction with Tyler? Oh, DTR. Could we get like a like a, a, a counter of how many types of people that Blaine's just gonna shame this entire episode? <laughs> We've got all the races to hit. <laughs> that, yeah, we'll get to him. We'll get to him, okay? If you has Blaine hasn't gotten to you yet, just wait. He will offend you, okay? Don't worry about it. Um, definitely takes Ritalin. Definitely That's a possibility. Takes I don't <laughs> Tyler, what you got? Man, not a lot. Gonna be honest. I feel like you have a lot to offer. <laughs> I feel like you have um, a lot to offer. Generally in life, not not as much as you would think. You have so much to offer. Very much a facade, dead inside, no qualities or virtues. But oh, I would okay. say, if anything, 
Uh, this is uh, don't touch raccoons. Because... Oh. <laughs> Just a general good tip. Well, if you get, you can get rabies from raccoons. They're very dirty creatures. But I want to touch them. They're so cute and tiny, and they got little people hands. And you would get, you would get rabies. I Die. To, I have to DTI. I have to remember. I knew somebody that had rabies. Could it come with like a little like jingle? What the raccoon? Like the little. It's like this is a, this is, this is a PSA kind of thing. So like, would it go to like a little jingle? Like the raccoon would jingle. He's itself. setting you up for like a. Like I'm a saying joke. like if there was a a a song that. Was, oh, there was a song. Like a jingle. You know the song you were singing it this afternoon. Don't touch raccoons. Don't touch raccoons or you die. <laughs> oh, yep, and that's when it stops. Were you and giving right when the beat, beat drops? <laughs> <laughs> um, very good advice. Yes. Don't, don't touch rabies. raccoons. Yeah, don't touch um, them. Not the actual definition of DTR. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. You guys got a possibility here to get some points. Yeah, I do know. This is so weird. Um, I do spend a lot of time in Urban Dictionary, and I do know this one. Mm. So, again, not as fun. But, um, Was it as good it's as a fun for it's once? It's a dating acronym. Like, oh. You know if somebody is, like, DTF? Mm -hmm. Down to be fancy. Yeah, down to fancy. Or down to funts. No, no. Uh, it's like, let's go out one time. <laughs> Have some That's fun. It. A lot of girls say that when they go out with you? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> uh, they're like, one time because you're so sad. Uh, but DTR is actually down to rap. So that's if you are down to just... Uh, just talk. It's just not even what you guys think. Not hip hop, just no, no, chat. Just like, you want to rap about Let's that? Rap like, about airlines, what's happening? Just want to have a talk. Yeah. Just want to have a talk. So it's just kind of how you find like-minded people who are down to rap. Um, yeah, that's not, actually, I can't remember the definition of this one. What was the definition of DTR? Before I see it, I know the real one. Go yeah, for that's it. That's what Kurt. I was going to say. Okay. I thought you had, a, I thought you had a possibly like a joke there. No, I just really knew the real one. Okay, define the relationship. It's that conversation you have when two people discuss their mutual understanding of a romantic relationship. Also known as the worst d d conversation that could be had at any point. First date stuff. First date. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I really want to know right away what I'm in for. Yeah. Now, so. on the first date, when do you bring up this conversation? I mean, at the beginning or the end? Table for two, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's just right away, so they we're all on the same page. All, all the whole party. <laughs> Wait, you're talking to the maitre d' too? What? <laughs> Where are we at? What's happening between you and me, hostess? Yeah, anyone that approaches you, you need to know what you're in for. <laughs> right. Hey, uh, like, hey where are we? Uh, boyfriend, boyfriend? Yeah. I Are you my know. boyfriend? I don't know. If you stop tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop tripping if you be my boyfriend. Oh, we'll see. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> How about we cut Check the commercial? <laughs> <laughs> um, we got one more. Oh, I got to give a points to someone. Please, please, please. We need these points so badly now. I need these points. Please, please you got Think about all the kids that have rabies and die. Nick, I got to think about the kids. Really points good to fat job. shamers on this one. Yeah. Hey, but think about just rapping with your mates. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Points to uh, fat shamers on that one. Not gonna uh, win. <laughs> You don't like I mean, me saying your name. You it's don't. You literally so get uncomfortable whenever I say your name. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not. It's not an easy. One. Oh god. Oh, I shrivel under. <laughs> you were so happy about it too. Last word. What's our last word? Reisinger. <laughs> That's from Ophelia Dusk. Hey, there is a definition on UrbanDictionary.com for what a Reisinger is. <laughs> <laughs> what, pray tell, my sweet sweet chaps, is a Reisinger? We're gonna go to uh, the Stinky Boys first. Stinky boys. Um, a rice singer? Mm -hmm. um, World of possibilities. Just, you know, really go out there. I think it's pretty well defined. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> do you want to get the definition here. together? Is that what you guys want to do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think, I think we will. A rice singer is a. Uh, you, uh, it's a. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it is a. Um, this is how we spell it in America. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, a Reisinger... But not an American word. No, no not an American no, word no, no. of origin, no. Uh, a Reisinger is when you have a mouthful of rice. Uh -huh. yes. but, but your number just got called up at the karaoke bar. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, time to sing. You gotta sing. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta go up there and sing Hit Me Up My Wayward Soul. <laughs> I don't, I've never heard Wait, what that. is Wait, that? It's not. <laughs> What's that again? song? Hit me I, up my wayward soul. Hit me up my wayward soul. Oh. <laughs> and so it's and that's singing that song. song with rice in your mouth. So it's flying out. Yeah. And then if, uh, and then people are catching it. And, yeah. And then putting it in their mouth. It's yeah. A circle of Some rice. of them plant the rice thinking it's a seed, but it's really a grain. And I don't think that it'll grow from just one 
grain of rice. Yeah. Do you actually know if a rice seed grows? I'm like, a crop guy. You're a crop guy. <laughs> you are a crop guy. You're a good old yeah. farm boy. I've always said you're a real piece of crop. <laughs> Nick Rutherford. Hi, Kirk Jones. Nice to meet you. Nice to finally what is meet it? you. You come around here a lot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very cool. I'm very you guys cool. done? Are you guys done having no, a moment? No, we will never be done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they just vamped for that entire time. What's I'm a rice sweating singer? a lot. I know what a rice singer is. Uh, so if you spell it backwards, it's uh, Regnesser, and of course if you unscramble that, then it's re-rising, and it's like a phoenix from the ashes. You always... <laughs> re-rise on every show because your life is shit and you have no real friends. That was very nice for a moment. That's the, that's the true definition right That's true. It's hard to not. I'm just giving you facts. This isn't, you know, it's not opinion based. Yeah. It's just real that It's not based sucks. off of anybody you know. No. I mean, well, you. I mean, <laughs> for sure. And I feel like your parents knew that going in. I mean, well, I, I guess it's just been kind of a lineage of that, of shit. No, actually, I'm the only Rice Singer. They actually had a different last name, and they he had to give me Rice Singer. changed your name to Rice Singer. They were like, this kid's a, definitely a Rice Singer. They knew people would hate you. Yeah, they knew there was just going to be so much hate yeah. for this, this, this face. Yeah. It's just oh, constant. Okay. Um, Did you, are you done? Because we can move on. Yes, okay. <laughs> oh, wait, we're doing Reisinger? <laughs> oh, well, what, what, what did you think oh, it was? Oh, Reisinger. Oh. It, it's, oh my god, I misread it. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a band that only sings about grains. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so you thought, awful. you thought. Uh -huh. Oh, wait, shit. Wait. <laughs> nope. Okay. okay, we played this joke. No, I'm What's, serious. It's this okay. It doesn't have to do with rice at all. It doesn't have to do with rice. No. no. Because it's, it's, it's British... there's not actually a C in the name. Huh? It's not, there's, it's R-I-S. I know, and I just but, saw that. I know, you gotta read it, but... I didn't read it, I just listened. What's a rice singer? It's, Kurt, uh, my, my good, good friend, my boyfriend. Uh, it's when, mm -hmm. it's what yeah. <laughs> your dad calls an elevator. Right. <laughs> right. Because it's rising. I'm gonna stop giving you guys. It's like, I, my hands are full with all these grocery bags. Can you call the risinger? Oh, they just there, was, <laughs> there was an audible groan I'm in the audience. Do you want to do this? I'm supporting my friend. <laughs> Somebody went, oh. <laughs> that was just awesome. leave. <laughs> God. Uh, How could he commit to that? <laughs> All right. Points. For yes ending, go to. <laughs> points to, I don't know. I mean, they had three definitions. We had one. Yeah, you guys yeah. played the rules, so, so points three, to you guys. Three, three times. Three times is yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Uh, so the real definition is when happening. someone tries to take charge of the situation but has no control over any of the other parties, so just makes rules up. <laughs> I know what just happened. <laughs> that is really good. Wow. This was a rising. Who made yeah, that? we just got rising. Yeah, yeah. So that really points good. definitely go to you guys. Yes. Um, all right, that's the end of con linguistics. It's good. We don't have to play that game anymore, okay? Great. I, I think I know one person is very happy. <laughs> Who's that person? Show yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay, so uh, let's see what points at the end of all that. Yeah, let's. <laughs> <laughs> it's negative eight to thirty nine. That accurate. cannot be true. <laughs> it's a close game. The fat shamers are leading a little bit. Uh -huh. um, well, it's anybody's game. Yeah, anybody's game. Hey, lots of points in the second game. Lots of points. We're eight under. Um, so, uh, before we move on to the next game, I want to say a little something. Dollar Shave Club, they're the smarter choice when it comes to shaving. Uh, you get a great shave at a great price. It's conveniently delivered right to your door. All those great things happen. It's an awesome life hack and a no-brainer choice. You no longer have to... You know, slap over to the store and buy a cheap, you know, crappy razor that gives you, you know, bad shave and burns and all that fun stuff. Or go and drop all that money at these hipster places for a fancy razor with a million blades and, you know, GPS on it. You don't need any of those. Um, you just need to use Dollar Shave Club. They send everything in nice little packages and they, you have a little, you, the, just such a close shave and they give you a little carver butter. I didn't know butter was used on your face, but apparently butter is and I've used it in it. It works so well. Never thought about putting butter, but if you use Dr. Carver Shave Butter, don't re put regular butter, use Dr. Carver Shave Butter. I can't actually vouch for regular butter. I can vouch for Dr. Carver Shave Butter. <laughs> Someone let me know what happens if you shave with butter. I'm now highly curious. Dr. Carver Shave Butter is transparent for a more precise shave, helps present, prevent uh, ingrown hairs and fights razor bumps. Uh, you too can make the smarter choice by joining Dollar Shave Club. Uh, for a limited time, new members get their first month of the executive razor uh, with the tube of their Dr. Carver Shave Butter. I 
I've said butter a lot during this read. For only $5 with free shipping, after that, raises are just a few bucks a month. That's a $15 value for only $5. Five, five dollar bucks, says on the prompter. In your first month box, you get an awesome uh, weighty handle, a full cassette, uh, four cartridges and a tube of that, that wonderful, wonderful butter you're supposed to put in your face, not the butter you're supposed to use in, like, cooking. Uh, no hidden, hidden fees and no commitments. Cancel any time you like. You only get the, this offer exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com slash spot. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash spot. I feel like Lando Lakes and Country Croc were like, fuck! <laughs> like some one rep was listening in. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to say just Just really ruining the whole butter economy. Yes. Yeah. But I can't uh, believe it's not butter. They're, they're, they're not called that anymore. Right. Oh, no? What are they Let's called? talk about butter some more. We had that conversation, right? Fabio was a spokesperson for that. About the butter thing? I can't believe it's not butter. Were we having that conversation about butter? I can't believe it tastes so good. I can't believe it tastes so good on everything. That's not. That's the catchy. name? That doesn't roll off the tongue. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was changed to that because they decided they couldn't. Oh, because you can't put butter. It's not real butter. In a food product that doesn't have butter yeah even if you say in the actual name this is not butter i guess so they what about screwed. shave butter how can that's they... fine because it's not an actual cooking product it's not actually regulated by the same but people. you can still eat the shaving butter. we could just call the show butter and we're still not like infringing upon what about it. that movie butter on the butter is what we could call this there's a movie there is a movie called butter yeah we've talked about butter for far too long <laughs> right it's right. a buffer um the butter this is going to be the name of the episode Buffer for the butter? Buffer I can't butter. believe they talked about butter yeah, the entire time. Yeah, we talked about butter. Let's play our second game, which is Ass Swipe. Love this game. <coughs> well, what? Wait, can I explain how the game goes? No. <laughs> okay. So before you even know how the game works, Kirk's going to interrupt me and play his little card. Hi, my name's Kirk Johnson. I'm a member of the Stinky Boys from before. Yeah. Um, I'd like bud. to gift this card. Uh, it's a diddle card. Uh, it's called... Uh, it's an, and that would, and why don't you read it for us? I want to, before Blaine reads that, I want to point out that the, uh, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Just, just go for it. It says I have to speak like Macho Man Randy Savage. Okay, so for the next game, no matter what we also add into the game, you have to also add into <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage. You don't. No, but I would also like to diddle oh. you back. Oh. See, they're not even playing yet. Oh, no. Got, it's for the next one. You guys are just, like, throwing these cards around. Listen, We're... you never see a diddle coming, okay? It's a diddle Ask fest. anybody that's ever been diddled. Like, you don't see I that I mean, a diddle coming. isn't done right if it's not seen coming. Okay, diddle me this. Yes. <laughs> Wait. There was something in there that made sense. I don't know what it was. You fixed it on the internet. What are you saying? Which part? <laughs> I don't know. You're about what? to diddle me. Oh, you're no. diddling me. I was about to diddle you. You're diddling me. I wanted to diddle you. Yeah. Diddle, diddle, diddle away. Diddle away. Diddle away. I'm going to diddle. Uh, who am I going to diddle? Who should I diddle? Who's going to not handle it as good? Um, we're both fucking I would like to, uh, for. I would like to know how he sounds. I'm always curious about that. I feel like he. Yeah. I know like woman how he said that guy. noise. Yes, exactly. something someone says yeah. as they're walking right. down to the basement so, where their prisoner is. I'm going to come let me diddle you. Yeah, yeah, come okay. on over. Right. So there you go. I feel yeah. like we should have like a uh, gifting process yeah. of how the diddle you? card works. That's yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> the finger's right on point. <laughs> it's the size, too, of your pee-pee. Oh, that's uh, accurate. So what? so what is that? What did I diddle you And with? it has as many joints. <laughs> Moan seductively after sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't say what sentence or if it means every sentence, so I'm going to interpret it as I may. It's my show, and I'll say it's every sentence. Excellent choice. Fair enough. <laughs> um, who wrote your card? Uh, Noah... <laughs> Where's Noah? Noah's in the crowd. Thank you, Noah. Thanks, All right. Noah. So Thanks, Noah. we're gonna. So the way the game goes <laughs> is you guys are gonna come up with some dating profiles for some people from the community that we found their pictures and their names, and we had them sign some stuff so they can't sue us for whatever we say about them. Um, and you guys are gonna help them out one team at a time. You go back and forth, ring the bells when you switch teammates. We've come up with a couple of attributes. We're experts on this about these people. The other team's gonna come up with the third attribute because they just know everything about everybody and love in general. Um, what are the fat shamers? Uh, who's their person? <laughs> this is. Oh, this is a novel. Hell yeah. Tammy. Uh, Tammy is preparing for the apocalypse, specifically the Planet of the Apes apocalypse. So she's worried about those primates. Um, and Tammy also uses very long and sophisticated words, but uses them wrong and has no clue what they mean, which I think is something you guys will do ever so well. Um, what else do we know about? Tammy here that's going to help her get that tail. Uh, well, we do know that Tammy wants you to choke her out with her saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> also, side note, she doesn't have a closet. Oh, so you want to throw in two attributes. No, it's just I'm just noting. These Where's just the picture? 
Well, you know, this is not her whole room. You don't know. Maybe that is her closet. Yeah, that could be. There's, that. So there's a closet yeah, door. Big ass closet. Right there. <laughs> what? Do you not have a closet door? Tammy, I love you. You're great. <laughs> All right. So, what was your actual attribute? Oh, wants to be choked out by that sax. <clears throat> um, ready for the apocalypse? Getting ready for that. And okay. uses long words. Doesn't know what they mean. God uh, damn. It's a lot to take that in. That is a lot to take in. All right. Planet of the Apes apocalypse. Just apocalypse with apes. Likes to be choked during sax. And <laughs> very long. That, you're what? Thank you. That was good. Uh, um, that was good. Uh, in long words. Long words. I can't say that one. What is that? The so. Stop hist. Sauticated. Sauticated. Stop histicated. Sauticated. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so Let's do this. Use them good words. <laughs> All right. You uh, ready, Randy? Six. This Tammy. Oh, that's Randy over there. Randy. You should pay attention to your own show. I should. I really should. I... All right, let's get this girl fucked. All right, come on. Let's go. <laughs> uh, start us off, Tyler. Six days o'clock. Listen for the belt. Ready, set, go. Hi, my name is Tammy, and I've been uh, hanging out with Jane Goodall and shit because uh, these apes, man, they're coming down from the woods. But that's okay. I like to calm them. I play Careless Whisper on my sax. Right before I like to get choked out and have a <laughs> scream and orgasm. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, I like long words like like sassophone and marmalassu. I don't know if those are words or not. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, hippocampus, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Hippocampus! It's a, it's a college where hippopotami go! Yeah! They crash through walls and say, snap to a Sam Jim! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> uh, Keep going with Tammy. I just want to get choked out playing my sax before the apes kill me. Uh, They're coming, damn nerdy apes! <laughs> oh, God. It takes the breath out of you. I just wanted to keep going back to him. I didn't want to say shit. That oh was my beautiful. God. That was great. The veins that, that were popping out of and your the snack. Spit. <laughs> a lot of spit. What is a hippocampus? <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know. I believe your definition was brain, right? It's a brain. Part. Isn't it the lower uh, part of the uh, brain? It's the part that uh, <laughs> regulates reason. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah, exactly. Use <laughs> smaller words. But a hippo camp, a college campus with a bunch of hippos walking around, like looking at their That's schedule. That's, That's adorable. Great. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Um, and. I think, if anything, that's just going to help her in the whole dating scene completely. Um, <laughs> She's screaming she screaming orgasm. just show up to a date <laughs> and show this to someone. Um, it's fantastic. Let's find out what Stinky Boys, who they're going to help. <clears throat> this is Sean. Where are we at, Sean? Sean's a big fan of double entendres, but he's not the best at making them. <laughs> and Sean's profile is actually ran by his overbearing mother, who loves him too much. So this is actually going to be Sean's mommy trying to get him some dates on a dating uh, app. What else do we know about the Sean boy? What is a double entendre? You don't know what a double entendre is? I do, but I'm confused at <laughs> no, how to like use it. Make one up on the spot. Help. A nickel help, I mean. What do you got? Three, two. Uh, when, uh, whenever a bell rings, he punches himself in the dick. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Sean, every time a bell rings, Whenever he Sean's mom. She punches herself in the vagina that Sean was birthed out of. No, Sean punches himself in the dick whenever but he hears she, a bell specifically. But they're doing, right from, they're doing so it from the... So he's in his room no, no, and we no, don't no. see his him or mom, hear him. His mom does have a cock. He's adopted. She was a man okay, now. Okay, so, so mom, mommy okay. has a pee-pee. She, and she's overbearing. Okay. Mommy has a pee-pee. Big she's old fine. Dong. She's overbearing, super hung, punches herself in the dick clear, when she when, hears a bell. Triggered by and bell. And you have also a diddle card that makes you do what? And I am going to moan seductively after... Ever sentence. And I'm not clear if this is moan seductively or moon seductively. <laughs> Ooh. It Ooh. Could be Ooh. Interpreted. I'm leaving that open up to interpretation. I mean, I don't know what y'all's standards and practices are here. <laughs> Can we have nudity on our show? It is the internet. What? Yeah, yes. Patrick, I'm hearing moon. Uh, Patrick, so. I'm hearing moon. <laughs> Patrick, I'm, could, you, could you say that again one more time? What's the is it moan or moon? Moon, got it. Okay, okay. so we got moon. Man, man. Can you, got you, can you moon. demonstrate a moan? Do for we us, have Patrick? approval for nudity on the episode? That's a yes. You got okay. a yes? Okay. okay. So, full nudity. Uh, more skin, the better. Draw That's... trial, bro. Yep. Um... Should I really do that? <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to start the game until you take I feel game. like we just got a little insight into how Kirk acts in the bedroom. Uh, <laughs> do you really want me? Do, should, I, should I actually? Kirk, we would approach you about a Star Wars movie, all right? You're going to be working with Disney. Oh, you showed your ass on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, son. <laughs> um, Kirk's never going to get approached for a movie. Ah. What's, uh, <laughs> what's... Oh. Oh, you were in the audience 
Let's love that one. You were in a movie. Oh, they were on your side. You were in a Laser Team movie. I was in two. <laughs> That's a spoiler. <laughs> were you <Oops>. in? <laughs> you heard it here first. First spoiler of Laser Team 2. Sorry, Bernie, Matt, <laughs> yeah. Gail. Oh, and I just heard it. Yep, they just cut you out of the entire movie. Got it. Awesome. Um, all right, so help out Sean here. Let's start off with uh, Nick on this one. Nick introduced uh, Sean through his mama. Ready, set, go. Um, hi, I, oh, hi. I'm <laughs> Sean's mom. Uh, and, and Sean's gonna love you a real Sean long time. Mm, wink, wink. Uh, his penis is very large. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't understand fully how this works. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sean's mom here too. Oh, yeah. I'm just here to let you know my baby boy is a really long hung dong and he's got a lot of Oh, fuck. <laughs> good personality traits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's good at basketball and oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And Sean will treat you like a, a freak in the streets because he likes having sex in the streets. <laughs> That's a, boom. Oh. And Sean, oh, oh. <laughs> He is fragile. <laughs> Ooh. Give us a high one. Give us a high one. <laughs> and he's finished. Oh, oh. I have sex hair. Good job. I like how you got so much into that moaning thing. You weren't even waiting until the end of sentences. You were just throwing it in there. Yeah, it's just something to think about. <laughs> I'm so glad I diddled you. <laughs> that was a good deal. He'll be back for more. Um, I'm going to give points to that round to the Stinky Boys. What? <laughs> we, did not, we do not deserve we the points. We did not win. Not at all. Um, <laughs> Those are pity points. This is pity points. Hey, don't be me. It. You know what? Double points. I just don't think we deserve double points There's either. There's no way it after the like performance that they put Triple? out there. I don't know. Triple it seems like too unfair. much. Not I don't just think Okay, then double. Double points. Triple was oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're, we're, a triple, we're a double. So double points for that round. Good job, boys. Um, Sorry, so, Glenn, you won. Oh, can we find out what the good. points are at the end of all of that? Oh, no. Hey, look at that. <laughs> that is disappointing. Um, 62 to 39, the Stink Boys have come up in the lead. Hey, Tyler and Blaine, what time is it? What do we do at this part of the show? Yeah. Everybody kisses. <laughs> I feel like you're going to make us do some borderline, very inappropriate, you know, porno shit. Yep. So go off the screen, Tyler, because um, I need you to get prepped by Patrick for the porno. Oh, Blaine, you sit right there. I got one more thing to read while this goes on. Right there? Um, right here, you stay right there. You just stay right there. Uh, this episode of On the Spot is brought to you by Mac Weldon. I'll tell you right now, Mac Weldon is better than whatever you're currently wearing. Mack Weldon believes in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. I recently got a bunch of stuff from Mack Weldon, bought it from their site, and it was really easy to do. Uh, their products are great. Their website is wonderful. Uh, Mack Weldon has um, the most comfortable underwear. I got their underwear. They got socks. I do have the socks. I have not worn their shirts, but I can only imagine if they're as good as quality as underwear and socks. They're just fantastic. Um, they got undershirts. They got hoodies. They got sweatpants. I did get sweatpants, and I just want to wear them all the time. Um, and they're the best thing you'll ever wear in your entire life. They have a line of silver underwear and shirts that are naturally antimicrobial, which for all of the stinky boys out there means they eliminate odor. They want you to be comfortable. <laughs> so if you don't like the first pair, you can keep it and they will still refund you. So if you don't like it, then you can still keep it. Uh, no questions asked. Just what, keep it. What'd you say? I said that if you don't like your underwear, stinky boys. Oh! <laughs> oh! Stinky boys, you can get them antimicrobial underwear and you won't be stinky boys anymore. Want to? Not only does Mack Weldon's underwear, socks, and shirt look good, they right, perform well too. <laughs> They're great for working out, going to work, going on dates, and all those things that you do when you're wearing clothes and underwear and that stuff, which is a lot of activities. Uh, go to MacWeldon.com and get 20% off using promo code OTS. That's MacWeldon.com and promo code OTS to get 20% off. Go get some nice stuff for yourself because you deserve it. I said so. You deserve it. Thank you, Mac Weldon. All right. So we have <laughs> we have a site. We need to uh, bring in bring in the boy. <laughs> what is happening? We're gonna sacrifice him. Kalima. All right. So 
What is dripping on him? I don't so eat fish. We have a challenge here. We're calling this. Nipples. Um, we'll call this the, the sushi body challenge. So what's going to happen is that we have some sushi on one of our boys. Just the sushi. And then we have our other boy who's going to eat the sushi. Now the challenge is, is that we're going to put the time on the clock and you need to eat as many pieces of sushi by, with your, no, not using hands. Get the sushi off of Tyler. Get a little dip in the soy sauce that's in the little soy sauce well in his belly button. Oh. And take a nice little bite. And you can do as many of those rolls as you can and get some points back. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to use the wasabi, you can. Is that burning? Do I get extra points for all the wasabi? Yeah. Oh, I'll give you so many points. I can't tell if it's, yeah. I think okay, it's so. I don't think you're supposed to do this on your nipples. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a disclaimer. Don't put wasabi on whoever. delicate parts like of your body. It looks like cheese whiz wasabi. Oh, there's a fly on it! Just don't, don't. That's what ruins That's it? Is problem. this normal, was, is this, you know, whatever. Is this normal fish sushi? Yeah, or, this is actual sushi. Or is it like sushi. fucking dog biscuits no, no, no. inside? This is, I, I, this is not a joke. It's regular sushi. All the, fun HEB, is, all the fun is on Tyler. Fuck. Um, so, let's see how many you can get. This is my reverse fantasy. Yep. This is not how we're supposed to go. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Oh, God. Six seconds on the clock. Oh, God. What's the forward fantasy? You got it. Oh, my God. 60 seconds. There you go. Day. Keep going, keep going. Get the wasabi, get the wasabi. Don't lick my nipple! Oh! Hey, extra points if you get one into Tyler's You're mouth. Not, what? Extra points him. if you get one to Tyler's uh, mouth. Uh, Baby bird. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Do not care. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. There you go. <laughs> nice little dip. <laughs> get one into Wasabi. Get one into Wasabi. Is this on your diet, Blaine? I'm really Don't sorry. Don't look the nip. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking suck my nipple. Oh, nipples. my oh, God. My God. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, get, get, that, get that one. That one burns. That one burns. Oh, he's got both of them. Do it. Oh, Just do it. Get it off. <laughs> you can go spit that out. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. John, what are you doing here, man? I don't know anymore. It's like we got a few new, uh, it's like we got a few new Stinky Boy recruits. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we lost the plot there. <laughs> but but you know what? How many? Hey, how many uh, rolls did we get off of Tyler? Ha ha. And Tyler is trying to get wasabi off of his nipples. I don't know if creating friction helps the heat. I liked I liked when he licked the uh, wasabi off your nipple and it was like an ice cream cone. It was like kind you of. You know like, what? I don't even know how many sushi. Blaine committed that so well. Three hundred points. God damn. <laughs> that's that's fair. I think he deserved that's, it. That's yeah. That's. Can I have water? Can't be, <laughs> there's not enough points in the world for that. I think. Um. <laughs> How we feel? How we feel? Hey, so I don't like when my girlfriend like touches my my nipples. Do you have sensitive nipples? Yes. <laughs> I don't. Can oh, we, hey, Andy. What? Are you what's asking Tyler out? Can we just uh, can we not talk about what just happened? <laughs> I'm okay with that. I don't know, Blaine. Were you thinking about how much protein was in each of those rolls? Were you counting calories? The rice the is time? a lot of carbs. The rice is a lot of carbs. Uh, but you spit out most of us. So we didn't. Really there was some salmon, so I'm feeling a little bit like the rock right now. Yeah. <laughs> so you're good. You're good. We're, you're gonna look good for our TX. Don't worry about it, baby doll. Okay. Okay. So we got points for that. We're gonna play one more game. Tyler Last game. You just yeah, yeah, yeah. destroyed them. <laughs> I know I did. It happens. That's on the spot. Da 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 da. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> I really want a water to wash his yeah, hair just out. Just sing of my that mouth. song and make it all right. <laughs> That's how you play out any bad situation. Is it just sing the on the spot? <laughs> I know I ruined my friends. Da 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 da. We're getting a divorce. Da 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 da. <laughs> oh, I feel like I missed an opportunity. <laughs> I did not know. <laughs> uh, so the, we're going to play Come Again. Come Again is a fun little game where we, no. each team's going to get a scenario, and you guys are going to act out the scene in our spot over right here. Um, the twist is, is that um, whenever you hear the bell, you guys have to rewind and get a retcon redo version of your last line, and, and uh, ring the bell as many times as I want, and then once I stop, that's your new canon. You move forward with that. So There's wasabi on the floor. <laughs> it's wasabi. Oh, what kind of wasabi was that? It was so like. It's the guy that burns your nipples. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, like on a scale like between like you know nothing and icy hot, where's Wasabi? It's 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 around there. It's around like a little hot? biofreeze. My nips are not they're not doing great right. I got icy hot on my dick once. That's Look great. How hard John. his left Ooh. nipple is. Is that's it, not inappropriate. Gonna, that's that's <laughs> not. <laughs> Can we get We're cute? shaming the fat shame. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, I hate that My name. My nips are a little look hard. How, look how hard they Blaine is right now. now. They're actually perkier than they were. This is not a joke. They actually are protruding a little bit more than they were. Wasabi makes them more. And they're making more by Tyler just stroking them. I think I found an aphrodisiac. That's no, I didn't. I don't want to fuck anything now. <laughs> I want to chop my dick off. You fucked my nipple with your mouth. Why do you, I felt what? you like li you licked in a seductive, circular manner, it when was, all you needed was just like a you know just get a little bit like a fucking giraffe. He commits. It's for okay? Zuck, okay? I'm doing it for Zuck. For Zuck. <laughs> Please. You'll duck off anything. Um, what's up? We're gonna have uh, we're gonna give you boys a break, and we're gonna have the stinky boys start Thank off you. this round. I appreciate that. What is their scenario? Nick is driving his pregnant wife, who has gone into labor, Kirk, to the hospital. Kirk has been holding in the secret this whole time that the baby is actually the product of an alien encounter and realizes he isn't going to make it to the hospital. Um, this is uh, from Lunar Templar. Um, Lunar, Tem Lunar Templar, who also was a product of an alien insemination. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a flat earther name. Oh God, I hate them. I hate them. If there's anybody that. worth hating, it's you the You just shamed the fan of the show. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> that's what they do. It's fucking Zuck and Lunar Temple Templar. Uh, okay, so that's you guys' uh, scenario. In fact, since it's a, it's kind of a car one. If you guys want to use, you guys can stand up if we you want to stand a car up, in it. or you guys can sit down. What do you guys want to do? Well, can we set the car? We up need to in be there? in the in the spot. You want to right? just stand up and be in a car? Well, if I'm going into labor, I think I would be sitting down yeah, for real. Okay, then why don't you guys take And the... I would make sure my pregnant wife is sitting down and comfortable. Thank okay. you, sweetie. Take these chairs? Oh, you guys are gonna take the seat. You guys are just gonna be on the floor. You wanna be on the ground? I don't know, where do you wanna be? That's no, fine, can we, you can want we do it on the ground? You guys are on a motorcycle, right? This is how... <laughs> yeah, we're on a motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and this is how everybody rides motorcycles. Right? And <laughs> when you're having a baby, and it's you guys like the birthing baby. chair. Um, okay, so you guys know your scenario. Wait. And Wait. you guys, this, this, guys, I want to hear some urgency. Listen for the bell for retconning. Ready, set, go. <gasps> Honey, you okay? I'm fine. I'm driving as fast as I can in my Harley. Sweetie. What? Sweetie, I have something I need to tell you. Watch out. First, I'm going to go off this sick jump. Whoa. Whoa. Watch out. First, I'm going to go in this sick tunnel. Whoa. Watch out. First, I'm going to go underwater. <laughs> <laughs> You know that time that I had artificial semination? No, I love that time. Well, <laughs> it wasn't your semination. What? It was from another world. It was from down the street, and it was from a sub-world of this world, a different reality. Wait a second, you're saying the baby's not mine? Watch out! Whoa! Whoa. Well, you're good, drive straight! <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The baby may not be yours, and we might not make it to the hospital because they're be coming for me, and they're coming for my child. Baby, I don't care. As long as it's something inside of you, I want it. Oh, baby, I give up. Whoa, this changes everything. Uh-oh, uh -oh, there's a... We're gonna have to stop that Whataburger real quick. I agree. Craving time. Yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, this baby is an alien inseminated baby, and it's from a second subworld, and it's, they're coming for us, and we'll never make it to the hospital, and I'll have baby, to leave I you. I got something to tell you, too. What is it? I'm from the Sublar sector. Zip. Oh. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that worked out really well. <laughs> Wait, Nick? <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. We don't really have a lot of happy endings in these I know, things. we just wanted to make it full that circle. That nice. We gotta follow that. How tired oh are you? I feel like there's a very- ba a alien baby. Yeah, how Pregnancy tough is it? is tough. Yeah, it's, Labor it's is really not rough. Fun. Are you okay? I'm, I'll be fine. Okay, you know, I'm here for you. Huh, you all right? I'll be fine, yeah. You want ice cream? Yeah. Okay, we'll get your ice cream after this. Okay. Um, we should get ice cream. Yeah. Let's go get ice cream. We got wasabi. No, Kirk, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Kirk's going to go get ice cream. He'll be back with ice cream for everybody. Just kidding. Um, fat shamers, oh. let's see what you are. You picked it, stick with it. What's oh, their scenario? Go. So Blaine and Tyler are young lovers, mm. alone, on a private yacht, <laughs> cruising around the world. Their ship, uh-oh, has been boarded by pirates, and they are hiding in a tiny little closet, arguing over what to do next. We've got a little bit of discord going on. This is from Sweater Vest on the RT site. 
Diddle, 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 diddle. Oh, it's a diddle car. Wait, did someone not use their card? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Completely forgot about that. We already burnt ours. Diddle, diddle, diddle. Okay, so Nick diddle, has a diddle card. Diddle. <laughs> What's the diddle? Meow after saying anyone's name. Okay, so Deal? I da Dalit. Dalit? Dalit? Delete. Delete. Who's that? Uh, let's delete that diddle card. What's your card. name? <laughs> oh. Delete? Okay, it's, you got it right. Wait, who's, who, where, where, where's Zuck? There's Zuck. Zutch! Zutch over here! You were here. so mad at Zutch, and you never used his thing. Yeah, what, what do you mean? What was, what was Zutch's? Zutch? No, oh, Zutch is, uh, whenever someone uses a filler word, uh, um, uh, bark like a dog. He didn't use it. That was a coulda show. Sorry, Zutch, see us after the show, we'll uh, give you a little show. Yeah, them's the break. A little show, you're gonna give him a show on his own? Yeah, with Rick. a private yacht cruiser. <laughs> okay, um, so. So wait, he's gonna, he's gonna be doing it I don't it know, with can us? we just. Um, you guys, be, you guys <laughs> gotta get, get in your closet. The ice cream. I, need, I need you boys to get in the closet. All right, we're gonna get in the closet. Yeah, yeah. Watch your cord. Yeah. Are we on the ground? Yeah. No, I want you guys standing in the closet, okay? We're standing in the closet. Like, okay, so there's a tiny little closet. Yes. You guys are worried, scared. Um, <sighs> Hold on. Let me put this back in my pants. I've heard right. that. Okay, so Tyler, yes. we're gonna start us off. Six, yeah. six on the clock. Listen for the bell. You guys are scared. Yeah. Pirates, go. Honey, I think they boarded the ship. I'm so scared. Uh, who's the captain now? Oh God, I think the pirate man that's got the eye patch. I think his name is Tom. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom the pirate? Yeah, that's the one. He's in here. He's it's okay. Here. It's okay. It's okay. Come closer. Okay. Okay. Don't say a word. Don't say a word. Pirates have great, great, great. great. They have great vision. <laughs> <laughs> they see through closets. Okay. Uh, what do we do? We're just we got a bunch of coats and we got some umbrellas. Should we fight them off? No. No. I know. Should should we've got a bunch of condoms and and dildos? Should we fuck them off? No. 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 We should fuck each other. Oh, okay, but it's no, we're in the closet, honey. You're actually just going quick, for it. You're taking quick, my belt off. Out. They won't find out. Okay, I'm, oh. they, they will find out. They will find out. Don't know. There's a security camera right there. They can see everything. Hi, Tom. Yeah. Hi, Tom. <laughs> All right, let's just get it over with. Okay. I mean, we okay. gotta get a good show. Okay. There, 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 there we go. Gotta get this out. Are you in yet, right. honey? Yes. Almost, almost. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm almost in. No, just wait, you're actually up. going for it. I just gotta, okay, let's take off your time. No, let's not do that. You know how I got that. No, let's not do that. I have to fuck you before we get killed. Uh, before we get beheaded. Which is the same thing, but it's way worse. Uh, just right. just put your hands up. Fine, Steven, the meow. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, God, I almost love when you there. call me different names. Call me different names. <laughs> call me different names. <laughs> yes. Call me different names. <laughs> Greg, meow. Come on, Tyler. Oh, shit. He's trying to get that scrap. <laughs> hey. Oh my God! He's trying to did we see? Did we see Tip in that? No, we didn't okay. see any Tip. Saw a Happy Trail. We did see a Happy Trail. Do you have a Happy Trail, Kirk? Yeah, it's whatever. Okay. So <laughs> you sucked my nipples, man. <laughs> I just wanted to return the favor. We've gone down a path, Tyler. We cannot return. It. Okay. Um, Are we gay now? <laughs> now we were, we're out of that closet now. Yes, we are. We're out of the closet. I think I have to give um, points to Fat Shamers on that one, and Thank I'm you. gonna just go ahead and say it's a lot of points. So a lot, a lot of points to Fat Shamers for that one. <laughs> Woo! All right. I have to work here forever now, so That's see, we can never get another job we're, anywhere else. We're like. done ruining lives, we're done ruining careers, we're done making fun of people. What are the final points? <clears throat> I think we have a chance. Losers no, again. We do not. Oh, <laughs> I have won at some point. You've never won. You've I've never, won once. I don't think I've ever won. Okay. Maybe I won with Jesse. But you know what? You're still winners in my heart. Yeah. You're still winners. What is that? We love it. And I want to say, <laughs> I want to say thank you for coming to my show. Okay. It's a nice. It's me and me. I, it's me and Delete's pre pleasure. Pre yeah, the good old <laughs> Delete and Zuck and all those people. My best friends are here in the crowd. They are. All your friends came. I want to say a uh, special thank you to uh, uh, Dollar Shave Club and Mac Weld. I want to say thank you to my guests uh, and, and all of my audience. I want to say a special thank you to Blaine. I love you, and I'm very sorry for this episode. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>